everyone, I am here to talk about a much requested topic. I have been asked this question I can't tell you how many times, and that is what needle do I use for smocking? So this topic is really going to go beyond smocking because I use the same sort of style needle for smocking, hand embroidery, hand finishings, buttonholes, you name it. This is the sort of style that I like. Um, and just a quick disclaimer, you use the needle that works for you, but these, this style works for me. I am not a needle expert by any means, and I don't think you have to be. I mean, I make all these garments. They're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I've done my fair share of blue on roses and, you know, hand on buttonholes and smocking and all the rest of it, and these work for me. Okay, so I have... I have a, a range of needles right here to show you, and these will all be linked down below. Now, normally I go to um, just whatever local craft store, which I don't have a local craft store anymore, um, or like, you know, sometimes Walmart carries them, Target, and I'll just pick them up. But for the sake of the video, I ordered these off of Amazon, so I was able to link them all for you. And you can see that they are kind of the same sh overall shape. So we've got things like Sharps, I've got two different companies for Sharps, I'm not married to any company when it comes to needles so far because I can tell you what, if I had a nickel for every needle that I have lost over the last, you know, 10, 15 years, however long I've been doing this, I would be, <laughs> I'd have a lot more money in the bank. So I've got Sharps, I've got these in between, these are like for quilting or sorry, just quilting betweens. Um, these are, yeah, a hand quilting needle. Um, these are millimers needles, so these are very long. And I, and I, I already said I'm not an expert in needles, but it's my understanding that the millimers are kind of a long version of a straw needle. And I don't think I was able to find a straw on Amazon, but a straw is the same sort of shape. So you can see that I am... Well, I'm not married to any particular company. I know that there are better companies than Dritz, and, and, um, but they work just fine for me. They're affordable, and when I lose them, such is life. I wish I could become an adult and not lose my needles like I do, but every, I don't know, three, four months, I find myself buying another set of needles. So here we are. Um, some of these I've never used before, like this. This tulip brand I have never used before. Um, I've heard really good things about the brand from France. It's like a sort of the B, B O H I N, I believe. But yeah, I have never used these. So, oh, here you go. This one actually says Millimer needles straw. So I do believe that a Millimer or straw are either they're interchangeable or the Millimers are a long version of the straw. But Overall, you can see that the shape of all of these needles are very similar. I think I might be getting a helper. Are very similar. They are a, you know, on the thin side, and the eye of the needle is what I really like about these things. So whether I'm smocking, I'm doing bullion roses, and especially for bullion or cast on roses, you want an eye that is going to be kind of the same width as the shaft of the needle. You don't want that eye to flare out like it would on a, on a tapestry needle or on a whatever other needles there are because I don't use them. <laughs> but because um, you don't want to like pull your bullion that shape out when you pull the eye of the needle through. So I like these for for all of it. Um, and also people will ask me what size and I really don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm getting over a, a cough. But because I all buy these variety packs where it says three slash nine and I'm not sure if the threes are over here and the nines are over here or if it's vice versa. I, I really don't know. It doesn't really matter because what I do when I go to select a needle is I think of two things. I think of the fabric that I'm going to be um, you know, running that needle through, and I also think of the fiber that's going to be in the eye of the needle. So whether I'm using embroidery floss or pearl cotton or whatever that fiber is going to be, I want the thickness of that fiber to take up no more than about half of the eye of the needle because when you're actually doing the work, you don't want, um, you want there to be enough space in the eye that that fiber kind of like, it flows freely, 
flows freely. That way you're not tugging on that fiber and getting it all frayed and yucky. You know what I mean? So, so I make sure the eye of the needle is big enough for that. About half is good. 40%, some people say, whatever. About half um, is a good ratio. And the other thing is that I don't want the needle width to be so large that it's going to make a hole in my fabric that's not going to heal. So kind of I look at the weave of my fabric and if it's a really tight weave I want to use a needle where the diameter is smaller. If it's a looser weave I can get away with something that is bigger. Now that's generally the two things I think about when selecting a needle. If I'm doing something like a bouillon rose, um, the width of that needle the diameter, whatever you want to call it, of the, you know, the, the, of the shaft of the needle is going to play into how um, the size of those petals for the bouillon rose. So if you want a more like delicate one, maybe for an infant or whatever, then you're going to want to use a smaller needle. And, uh, and obviously like how many, you know, if you're using one strand of DMC floss versus two versus three, that's going to also affect the size of the bouillon. But your needle is going to determine kind of the width of that petal. So if you want a bigger one, you choose a needle with a bigger shaft. If you want something that's all on the more delicate size, you would choose a needle with a smaller, a smaller shaft. Um, and I really, on the topic of bouillons, I really like millimers because they're long. Um, so you can kind of wrap and, and have room to work. But those are the needles that I use. They've been working for me since I've been doing this heirloom stuff for almost 10 years now. And um, yeah, if you have anything to add to the conversation, uh, by all means, put them down in the comments below. Of course, if you have questions, put them down in the comments below. I appreciate y'all for watching, and I hope to catch y'all next time.